Hi guys, it's Jay again from Ayala's Wind. I am back to do your November 2020 Love Tarot pop-up for the sign of Taurus. I hope all has been well. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I'm a priestess in the Afro-Cuban tradition, so I'll be interpreting the cards from an Afro-Cuban spiritualist perspective at times. I'll be reading from oracle cards that I've created based on love songs for the last 40 or 50 years. If there's time, then I'll be incorporating um, traditional tarot um, towards the end, okay? If you like what I'm doing, definitely like the video, certainly share, um, and definitely subscribe. Um, I really appreciate all of my um, subscribers um, to Ayaba's Wind um, and all of the, um, the people who have trusted me to do their readings. Um, so thank you again um, for all of your support. Okay, the cards have been pre-shuffled. Um, and I've also dedicated light to your spirit guides, your ancestors, your protections to inform the reading. Okay, keep in mind this is a general love reading, so it's not going to apply to everyone. Some of the information may apply to you, all of it may apply, or none of it may apply because, you know, your placements and the combinations of... Um, the signs within your astrological chart vary from person to person, okay? So, um, yeah, this is not for you, then then fine, okay? I'm about solutions. So, yes, we, you know, look into the challenges and the issues, but we also come up with solutions here, all right? Um, if you want a private reading, you can email me at ayapaswind, W-Y-N-D-999 at gmail.com. Um, I'm having a special um, $63 for an hour reading, which covers advice on love and life and a little bit of um, ancestral stuff as well, okay? So I'm going to get started. Just give me a couple of seconds. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. So we have our first time checkpoint, which is going to be winter time. Something's going to happen. Wow. Okay. Something is going to happen in the winter time. Significant. And we know the winter months are December, January, and February. Ooh. Okay. We have another time checkpoint. Wow. Okay, they're letting you know. Something's up with the number seven with you guys. Okay, hold on just a second. Yeah, something's up with the number seven. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right, so we're going to, I think that's it for the cards. Um, all right, so let's get started. Um, so you don't have to change for anybody. Okay. You don't have to get that BBL. You don't have to go buy that Maserati. Someone loves you just the way you are. I'm referring to the people in your love story. You are the main person. And then there's a special person who is your soulmate, AKA your divine masculine, divine feminine. Okay. Then there are karmics on the side. So more than likely you're watching this, you are single, newly single, on the verge of breaking up, or your spidey senses are up, you sense that something is up in the relationship, something is not right, okay? Um, so Spirit is saying that either you're feeling this way about this person, this person's feeling this way about you, that you're the closest thing to perfect jagged edge okay you ain't got to change they will take you just the way you are okay and this could be how you feel about this person okay but someone's afraid to make the first move due to pride ego and fear okay so this is what's causing the delay someone has to get over themselves <laughs> okay you know they got to get over their fears you know they could be talking themselves out of like you know approaching you or confronting the issue, tackling the topic, okay? And so one of the solutions, because I'm talking about, and I mentioned in the beginning, I'm solutions-oriented, okay? One of the ways in which you can start to correct this problem 
is through prayer. Directing your prayers towards, look, God, <laughs> spirits, I need you to help this person get over their pride and their ego and their fear so we can come together in a harmonious union, okay? Now, there's other possibility. You could be in union with your special person, but there's drama, okay? And it could be, even though you feel like this is your divine counterpart, it could be that either one of you or both of you has to split in order to go learn your lessons with karmics and then come back. Sometimes people marry their karmic, have children with their karmic, thinking that their karmic is their divine person when it's not. Sometimes you gotta get all ingrained up in their stuff <laughs> for years to learn your lessons and then come into union. But sometimes it is hard to come into union with your divine masculine or divine feminine, your soulmate, because you have other people who are in a state of self-loathing, in a state of despair, and they sit around on a regular basis conjuring stuff like black magic, brujeria, witchcraft, belongos, trabajos, whatever you call it, and they start throwing stuff into a relationship to prevent you from either staying together or coming into union with that person. So you can say, oh, I don't believe in that. Okay, don't believe in it. <laughs> but if you can't stay in a relationship and there's always drama in the relationship, something is not right. So what are you gonna do about it? Okay? I'm just saying. Now, the winter time is key. Either something happened this past winter, last winter, or something's gonna happen between next month, December, and February. Winter months are December, January, February. So something is gonna be on and popping in winter. Mark my words. Keep in mind these energies could have taken place in the recent past. They could be happening now or they could happen in the near future. And the energies can last for several days, several weeks or several months. I'm booed up with someone else right now, LMA. So yeah, someone's taken, I don't know. Maybe it's saying that you're going to be booed up next month. But someone is going to be on lockdown <laughs> with somebody, okay? Um, in a passionate text, a message comes in. This is like the Page of Cups, almost like the Eight of Wands. There is something that's coming in. It's going to come in fast. It's definitely going to come in fast, okay? So get ready. What is this message going to be? Maybe it's gonna be a message of someone that really wants to like, you know, um, you know, spend some time with you, okay? But Spirit is saying like, be careful it's not like a seasonal thing. Everybody likes to be booed up when it starts getting cold, <laughs> okay? But the moment that spring has sprung, everybody out in the street, <laughs> you know, with their lip gloss popping, waves spinning, <laughs> wearing next to no clothing, looking for the next one. So Spirit is saying, watch out. Unexpected news is coming. Guys, something is up here. This is definitely the Eight of Wands. Something is coming in. Either a news of a pregnancy, news of engagement, the news of someone passing, money coming in. You're gonna be hit with something. And I don't know what that is. Something's gonna come in, okay? Let's see what spirit reveals. Oh. <laughs> the card that came after unexpected news? Can you guess? Huh. Let's see if you're right. A baby is on the way. Hmm. Guys, I know <laughs> people get mad at me. Oh, I'm not gonna have a baby. I don't even love this person. This person and I are not, you know, we're not together. You know, this, this, and that. Okay. <laughs> you can say never. But in my tradition, we never say never. Because when you say never, you're challenging the God force. You're challenging the divine. Only divine knows never. <laughs> okay? When you say never, 
the God force can come down and say like, oh yeah, you saying never? Watch, I'm going to show you what never looks like. Okay. So just be easy. There's a baby somewhere in this love story. Either you are going to be pregnant, your special person's going to be pregnant or have someone pregnant. A karmic could be pregnant or get pregnant. Or maybe someone who has a side piece, side guy, there could be a pregnancy there, okay? Someone's gonna be pregnant up in this love story. I'm with you just for the sex and money. Let's hope that this baby is created out of love as opposed to a rendezvous <laughs> or a one night stand. Okay, what? To each his own. But I'm just saying there is a a relationship that is happening that's just based on sex and money and security. Okay, and we look cute together. Nothing more, it's not deep, it's not deep like that. Okay, it's what someone else can give the other person. And in several days, something is gonna go down. Several days takes us to next weekend. I'm doing this reading on Saturday, okay? So next Saturday, next weekend, next Sunday, Something's going to be on and popping. Are you going to find out that someone's pregnant or that you're pregnant? Hmm. We shall see. Or maybe that message is going to come in. Now, after several days, you get several months. So that's what I'm saying. What is up with the number seven with you guys? Only you know that. Several months. Several months takes us to about June, possibly July. That sounds like it's right around the time of someone giving birth to a baby. Several months, something's about to go down. Several months takes us to June or July. So mark it in your calendar and watch this video again in the summer and see what happens. Now, it may not be the baby. It could be that someone is on bended knee with a proposal coming, boys to men. Is this a sign that someone is maturing? They're realizing that, you know, their doggy dog ways <laughs> ain't working for them anymore. And so they're finally willing to surrender to a commitment, <laughs> okay? To settle down with someone. So it may not necessarily be a marriage, or an engagement. It could be, you know, someone just wanting to take it a step further, you know, and not run as much, <laughs> okay? And not be bed hopping as much. But <laughs> no sooner that you get on pens and knee, you get cheating. So I had mentioned someone in their doggy dog ways. So the doggy dog ways, ways have to do with cheating, all right? Yeah, so they want to stop being player player or they know that it's not working for them. <laughs> it's not bringing them abundance, okay? It's just making the, it's running them down and it's bringing them emptiness and unhappiness, whoever this applies to. And then you got another wedding card. You can't make this up. At last, the lonely days are over at a James, okay? <laughs> what I am seeing is I am seeing um, someone being lassoed in. Um, you know, someone being lassoed in, you know, kind of pulled in, okay? You know, what? what is, I don't know what that movie is, The Bride on the Run, you know, someone running, I think it was with Julia Roberts. Um, if you know what the movie is, just put it in the um, the comments, okay? But that's the, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting. It's like, you know, trying to escape from commitment, but commitment finds you. Love finds you. And you have to face it. You know, because there's people's feelings involved. Um, lock you up for days. Lock you up and love for days till the cops come knocking. Maxwell. Let me tell you, this is hot like fire. So the sex could be great. Um sex could be really good <laughs> okay you know you could really be vibing with this person 
but the thought is someone, I, you know, thank you, spirit. They're saying that there's a fear of commitment here. Let's take it a step further. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, there are some money challenges. Wow, you can't make this up. Guys, I don't know if you received a text or a DM or someone's carrying a message to you. Woo! You get page of wands. It was the page of wands before. Now it's the page of cups. Wow. Yeah, you can't run. Someone can't run from this. Mm -mm. Nah, winter is a double confirmation, guys. All right. All right. Let's see. You cannot run. Wow. Yeah, there are some money issues. Spirit is, is blowing up that spot. There are some money issues somewhere in this love story. It's like money is being spent. Here comes the bride. Wow. I'm hearing mar marital bliss. That's what I'm hearing. So don't be afraid. Like if you feel like you're going to get caught out there or whoever's having like the, you know, the anxiety about a deep commitment, Spirit is saying it's going to be marital bliss. I think this deck is done. All right. All right. So yeah, like I said, there's money. There's some money challenges. Like maybe someone's going a little crazy with the whole money piece. Maybe, you know, they're doing like retail therapy. You know, I know what it's like. Shopping makes you feel so good. You like, you get a high from it. <laughs> I love it. it. Like every day is every time I get a package is like Christmas time. Okay. But money card to the bank. Someone's going a little loco <laughs> with the money, okay? Um, you got a message of love coming, okay? You got you got a lot of message cards. Like, what, what is going on? Passionate text. That's the page of wands. You a message coming in, <laughs> okay? That's the eight of wands. Something's coming in, guys. Something is coming in. All right. Someone's going to want to hook up with you. <clears throat> um, I just heard like the word quickie. <laughs> so yeah, you could take that where you want it. All right. But true love, this is going to be a message of true love, or this is going to be from a true love. Someone who's like really about it, who's really into you. Like you have their heart. They have your heart. Heart. Okay. Um, and the winter time again, the winter time again, where's the winter card? Double confirmation, two different decks. Okay. So like I said, between next month, January and February, something's about to go down. Is it a proposal? It is, is it a feel the, the baby? Uh, is it the lover that's coming? Okay. Let's, we have yet to see spiritual illumination needs to happen. Meditation and spiritual baths. Okay. So yes, you got to go into meditation. You got to start now, you know, quieting yourself and focusing and vision, envisioning, um, visualizing to bring things into fruition to manifest. Okay. I know it's really hard with the damn phone. Okay. All the alerts, the notifications going up, people texting you, DMing you, you getting Gmails, the phone is ringing. Look, put it on silent <laughs> and go into a quiet space, light a candle, you know, close your eyes and get in your zone. Do your mantras. I'm going to post some mantras in the um, description part of this video. Get into it. Do mantras for love, mantras for protection, mantras for happiness, 
mantras for money, <laughs> okay? There are mantras for everything. And the mantras are like, you know, medicine for your spirit, for your soul. They help to align the chakras and they help to raise your vibration um, so you can really tap into and take advantage of your higher self. Instead of thinking from down here, you'll be able to think from up here, okay? Um, money is like water through a basket, yeah. As soon as you get money, it's like, okay, where do all the money go? <laughs> you know, and it's hard because a lot of people don't carry cash anymore. So it's like everything, swipe the card, swipe the card, swipe the card. And then you look at your balance, you're like, oh my God, what just happened? Okay, so spirits like want you to keep your eyes on your money. Self-care is needed right now. Visit a doctor and or a therapist, okay? <clears throat> so spirit is, uh, you know, uh, letting you know before anything gets bigger or before anything gets out of control, go see about yourself at the doctor. Go get some blood work done. Go get an STD check. Go get your little pregnancy test if you think you're pregnant. Um, well, they check you for pregnancy anyway, if you have other tests run. Um, get your breast, your mammogram, get your prostate exam, whatever it is, you, uh, your colonoscopy, whatever age range you are in, please see about yourself. It could be as little as a vitamin deficiency, okay? That's just a scenario, okay? And all you need to, maybe the doctor just has to prescribe to you a medication and then boom, you're, you're better, okay? Spirit wants you to go to that doctor, okay? Love, love from the past returns. So this is the Six of Cups energy, okay? Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. But love is on the brain, okay? Uh, you know, uh, I'm hearing like someone is reminiscing. They're reminiscing and they want some of that old love. They want that old thing back, okay? Um, and a war is coming, a tower will fall. Okay, so, uh, you know, this tower could have happened in the recent past. It could be happening and beginning now or getting, you know, drawing energy and getting bigger now or it could happen in the future. So maybe that's why spirit wants you to do this whole spiritual illumination with, you know, praying to whoever you believe in. If you pray one time a day, spirit is saying you got to kick it up a notch. You, you got to ramp it up. Okay. Um, right now, there's no indication of any witchcraft, brujeria, spell work, or anything like that that people are conjuring. But, you know, just so you keep your vibration high, do these things, okay? And I want to marry you. I want to marry you. Guys. You know, some people can fight it, fight it, fight it, but it's out on the table. If it's not out on the table, it's soon going to be on the table. Okay. Someone has got marriage and love on the brain. Thank you, Rihanna, for that song. Love on the brain. Like so much that they want to take it to the next level. Okay. And I'm hearing, again, you can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> okay. Ancestors and spirit guides want acknowledgement. So they're like, ah, yeah, you want all this ha to happen. If you want this marriage, if you want this commitment and you want it to work, you're gonna give us acknowledgement, the ancestors, okay? Remember, I dedicated light to them. I called them forth here to inform the reading. So they're giving this information. They're like, look, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> we want a glass of water. You dedicate the glass of water to the ancestors. Dedicate a candle to the ancestors. You can get them a nice bouquet of flowers to the ancestors. Set up your little altar. You know, um, you can put pictures of your ancestors down. Just cut out all the living people, please. Do not put pictures of your ancestors. Ancestors are people in your bloodline who have crossed over. Do not put pictures of people who abused you, molested you, neglected you, okay? You can leave them to the God Force. Let the God Force deal with that. You're not going to give them acknowledgement. Um, if your grandmother passed on, she liked that whiskey, put down a bottle of whiskey for her or a shot glass of whiskey. If grandfather liked to smoke cigars, put down some cigars for him, okay? 
If you have black coffee in the morning, pour a cup of coffee for the ancestors, place it down, and every time you give an offering to the ancestors, you knock three times. You dedicate it to them. You say here, you know, I present this to you. I honor you and I acknowledge you and I praise you and thank you. Boom, and you sit it down. Do not let any food, fruits, um, water, flowers, anything go bad, start smelling bad throw it out and replace it and refresh it. You can say prayers to your ancestors once a day, several times a day, once a week. Um, it doesn't matter. Just acknowledge them. They want to help you. They're here to help. Okay. And like I said in previous videos, you know, in a lot of the mainstream religions, they want you to forget the people who you loved. <laughs> forget about the dead. Okay. Uh-uh. Now, now, if I love my grandmother so much, I don't care. I don't give a damn who you are. <laughs> I am not going to forget my grandmother, okay? I'm not. Her body may not be here, but I will be calling out her name each and every day. It's <laughs> several times a day, okay? So in, you know, um, many religions across the world, okay, um, people who have not forgotten the um, spiritual traditions of their ancestors, okay, before Christianity, before Islam, okay, um, they acknowledge their ancestors in a big way, okay? So much to the point where they bury the ancestors in the house. There is a certain section in the house for the ancestors to be buried. That's how close they want their loved ones to be. Down south, Historically, you buried your loved ones on the lot, the plot of land that you lived on. Guys, it is on their shoulders that we stand. And without them, we would not be here today. So they want acknowledgement. Let me keep it moving. So now you know I don't <laughs> I don't like calling out signs. It's annoying to me. I just don't like it. But I've added signs to the deck. Let's see if um Spirit is gonna give it to you. Wow, didn't waste time. Okay, okay. Okay, Spirit is revealing. Oh, wow. Wow, okay, let me get myself together here. They give, they're giving a description of this person in this love story. Now, I thought I saw two cards fly. Yes, it fell on the floor. Hold on just a second. All right. Oh, okay. This is this explains a little bit about what's going on here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Someone is definitely spying. Yeah. One more time. Okay, we got a time frame here. All right, let's see if any cards flipped. All right, let's go. All right, so Spirit is explaining and going into the psychology of this person that is struggling with commitment, okay? And I can't love you because I don't love myself. So this is a big part of the issue. My head is tingling. So, you know, please, we're about solutions. Direct your prayers towards helping this person to heal, to heal the wounds that cause them to not feel love for themselves, okay? Maybe it was something that happened in their past and the next card that follows after that is childhood trauma affects how this person is in a relationship. 
So it was something in their childhood. Wow, my head is tingling. It was something in their childhood that they were lacking, that they missed. Was it the love and the nurturing of a mother? Was it the love and the nurturing of a father? You know, were there abandonment issues? You know, was there abuse? Okay, this is at the core, this is at the root of the problem. So now you know the root of the problem. So now pray with all your, 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 um, your body, your mind, your spirit to correct this issue. Okay. Um, yeah, this is, this is deep. This now this is making sense. Like the whole runaway bride. That's the name of the movie. I think is runaway bride. Okay. Now there is going to be a sudden shocking surprise which is coming. Guys, <laughs> this is like the fourth card with uh, some message coming in, <laughs> okay? And all I keep saying, seeing is like that whole eight of wands flying through the air. Messages are coming. As to whether it's good news or bad news, we're gonna explore that in just a second. But someone in this love story is muscular, Okay, and maybe this person who's muscular, maybe you're going to hear from this, the sudden shocking news is going to be about someone who's muscular or that this muscular person has beliefs that prevent them from being together. You know, maybe there's, you know, um, some beliefs around like culturally, like, you know, you know, you don't normally date outside your race or your culture or, you know, you have different religious and spiritual beliefs. So that's, you know, creates a conflict there. Or you have different beliefs about, you know, you know, being in a commitment, <laughs> okay? One person can love and cherish and honor the whole traditional idea of, of monogamy. <laughs> the other person could be like, look, I wanna open a relationship. I wanna be able to explore my options. That's not gonna work, okay? Um, but there's a family curse that causes problems. Maybe, you know, this particular person that is struggling with these issues, there was a curse that was thrown on the family to prevent happiness in love and relationships. Maybe it resulted in someone, a parent, having an affair and the affair was cut off because this person had to go back to their marriage and the person who was cut off became very upset and cursed the family unit. And so now as a result, this person in this love story is now struggling to hold it together to, to be in or to stay in a committed relationship. That's a possibility. But mantras for love, yeah. So spirit wants this person, either you or this person you're dealing with to heal. You have to explore the mantra for divine love, okay? Because when you tap into that energy of divine love, you will pull that which is divine, that represents love, okay? And so spirit wants you to tap into that, that type of love. And so there's plenty of mantras for love. Um, one really short, simple one is aham, uh, aham prima. Okay, you say that 108 times in the morning, 108 times at night. It's only eight to 10 minutes, that's it, quick, all right? You'll see it'll work. You're gonna feel different. You keep saying that, you're gonna be glowing when you go outside. People are gonna notice that something is different with you. I'm speaking from experience, okay? Those mantra mantras work. Someone is fine in getting tarot card readings or spiritual readings. Someone's, you know, they're getting some, some what you say, intel <laughs> about the other person or about the situation through um, divination, okay? And then finally, trouble, or not finally, trouble with getting pregnant. So someone in this love story, you know, has challenges with getting pregnant. Not to say it won't happen. Maybe it's just not happening because those people are not the right people. You know, there could have been plenty of opportunities to get pregnant, but it just didn't happen, okay? So, but Spirit is saying that there's problems with getting pregnant. Now, one, the person could get pregnant, 
but miscarry. They can't hold the baby in their womb, in their uterus. That's one scenario. Two, the person can get pregnant, but the problem is that they give birth to preemies. The, the baby comes at seven months, you know, or eight months. That's one issue with pregnancy. The other issue is pre with pregnancy is that they can carry the whole time throughout the pregnancy, but then give birth to a special needs child. Okay. That's another possibility. So these are some scenarios there. And then, um, September, October, November. So this, we're finishing up with this term, this past fall, something could have happened last fall or something major happened this fall. Maybe someone did have a miscarriage within the last month or two, okay? Um, and maybe there was heartbreak over this. Um, but something either happened or is going to happen to finish out this month on this issue. Okay, let's take it a step further. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. All right. All right. Someone is working on themselves. They're really trying, you know. This person may be frustrating as hell to you. This could be you. Um, you could be frustrating someone. Oh, let's see. I know there was something on the flip. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Mm. Okay, we're going to stop there. Good. All right, guys. So <laughs> guess who pops up again? You know, your ancestors light the way to your success in love and relationships. So yeah, it's this is a double confirmation because you had the other ancestor card here too. So yeah, they're not playing. And basically what they're saying is if you want success in love and relationships, they're your key to success. They're gonna make it happen for you. But if you do not acknowledge them, you're not gonna have long-term success and victory in love and in relationships, you're not, okay? So, so yeah, they're just, they're, I don't wanna say it's a gentle reminder and you can do it or not do it, but spirit is letting you know, you ain't gonna see any um, fruits, <laughs> coming about fruits of your labor manifesting and having long-term success if you don't acknowledge them okay you have been cursed and need a spiritual cleaning and reading okay so this is this is like kind of insult to injury now <laughs> you already got this person that's struggling with loving themselves <laughs> due to childhood trauma now you have this curse in the spiritual cleaning in addition to the family curse uh uh Guys, please, please go into prayer. Please use the mantras. Go use the mantras for protection. There's another mantra for protection and it's the Durga mantra. And it goes like this. Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha. Okay. You say that 108 times in the morning and 108 times at night, eight to 10 minutes. Um, but guys, this is, yeah. <laughs> That's just one of the protection ones, but you got to shut this down. So that now means you're praying multiple times from the time you put your foot out the bed, you're doing meditation, connecting via the, the mantras, mantras for protection. And I'm going to post that in the description and you got to do the spiritual baths. Check out my baths, the white bath in particular. It's in the discussion section of my channel. You got to scroll all the way down to the very beginning. 
when I first started the channel and there's a section about um, uh, spiritual baths, okay? And do the white bath and get the ingredients, order it on amazon.com or go to your local botanica, okay? Um, you gotta do some work because someone has launched an attack on your happiness and on your ability to come into union with your special person, okay? And they know that this struggle is, is, this thing is frustrating you and they want you to be frustrated. So your ancestors are popping up and they're like, look, the only way you're gonna win this battle is if you lean on us, okay? Because they are representative of the God force as well. And they want to be acknowledged, propitiated, whatever, so that they can give you a leg up. Cause this is a spiritual war, okay? And like I said, you can't go to someone's house and punch them in the face and be done with it, okay? Because once they heal, they're still throwing the same shit. So you have to launch your, you have to get your spiritual entourage, your spirit guides, your ancestors. You got to bulk them up. You got to raise your vibration, okay? And shut all that shit down, all right? Um, okay, here we go. Drugs and alcohol affect their judgment. Someone is drinking too much alcohol, someone smoking too much weed, snorting too much cocaine, popping too many damn pills. I don't know what's going on, but spirit is like, nah, that can't work. Not at this point in time. You're under attack. <laughs> Spiritual warfare is around this love story and drugs and alcohol, they lower your vibration. So it lowers your vibration. Yeah, it makes you feel good temporarily, but in the interim, now, spiritual attacks, low, dark, uh, low energy, low vibration beings or energies or entities now can possess you. They can enter into your body <laughs> and take over and, and, and manipulate you like you're a puppet, okay? Make you want to sleep so you can't get out of bed. All you want to do is sleep. You have no motivation and desire to do shit, okay? Um... You're not being productive. Your house is a wreck. You know, you don't want to do the things you love, you used to love to do. You're not taking care of yourself. Uh-uh. You got to look around and if you see, <laughs> if you see things piling up, messes all over your house, a lot of times, guys, that's a reflection of what is going on inside of you. When you see your, out, your external surroundings, a hot mess. Okay, so spirit is like, pick yourself up, get yourself together, take those spiritual baths to waken you up, to you know, to, to open up your spiritual eye, illuminate and get out of that darkness and pull yourself together, okay? And raise your vibration so you cannot, you don't have to suffer these spiritual attacks. Car accidents, multiple car accidents happening within one year, less than a year, you know, breakups, breaking bones, um, uh, losing jobs, losing places. Your money is, is terrible. Relationships can't stick. You know, uh, 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 uh. That's not normal. You weren't brought into this world, world to suffer. I don't give a damn what your mother said, what your great grandmother said. That's their road, their path. <laughs> okay. If they view life as suffering, let them have that. But no, <clears throat> God did not bring you into this world to suffer. So let's let's get it together. I haven't been able to find anyone that compares to you. You're the best. Okay. And that's like a confirmation with this first card. Okay, you're the best. No matter no matter what they do, who they see, the person could look like you, <laughs> smell like you. They are not you. <laughs> there is no one like you. You are unique. Okay. Um, and I want to hire a commitment with you to the church for a wedding. Wow. Wedding bells all over. Please. Guys, we are in some really strange times. You know, take advantage of being able to appreciate one another. Okay. All this running and jumping from one person to the next. That can't work. Not in this. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Now is not the time to be doing that. I'm working hard on myself to get back to you. 
Okay, so someone is trying to do the work. They're attempting, okay? That's a good sign. Pregnancy and fertility are inevitable, okay? So we have this whole baby thing, pregnancy, wedding, shocking news. Guys, something is brewing on the horizon here, all right? Okay, so dark forces and energy, dark forces, dark energy negatively impact your love life. Okay, we've already established that. So now what you gonna do about it? <laughs> okay, smoke your house out with sage, frankincense, and myrrh. Okay, get that shit out of your house. Clean the house. Put no, make sure there are night lights in every area. Make sure your light, your house is not in darkness. Make sure you take out garbage on a regular basis. No foul smells. Foul smells at, um, attract dark entities into your house. Correct any leaks, cracks, plumbing, all that stuff, no. If you see dark shadows, you hear clicking no noises, popping noises, that is not a good sign, <laughs> okay? Uh-uh, we gotta shut all that down. Take your power back, okay? And shut all this negativity down, all right? Um, accidents and injuries, okay. So, and this card comes right after the dark forces. Be careful of accidents and injuries, okay? My head is tingling. You gotta say a prayer before you get in the car. Pray that you get to and from your destination safely, okay? Do not answer any cell phones, text messages. Don't get riled up, highly emotional while you're at the wheel, okay? Well, those people can wait. <laughs> That's calling you, uh-uh. Please be careful because these accidents and injuries, it's not a good look. And if you're wondering what has happened to you and you're experiencing these things, this is because someone has done some dark work. You know, now three is a crowd and there's heartbreak. So that's the three of swords. Okay, we know that. <laughs> there's a triangle somewhere. Something's not right. We are trying to get through this, okay? But you're not my type, but I'm attracted to you. Okay, so, you know, yeah. I mean, it's like you could like tall people, but this person is short. <laughs> you could like people with long hair, but this person has short hair. Um, you know, whatever. This particular person, you know, there is a charm, there's a charisma, there's a magnetism with this person, even though this person is not your typical type. You may like to date older people, but this person is younger. Okay, but there's a je ne sais quoi kind of, there's a quality about them that you may not be able to identify, but there's like this magnetism, all right? And then finally, love bath, all right? So the baths are starting. You have your white bath that you can find on my discussion section. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Okay, now we have this love bath. So you're gonna get a big mixing bowl, uh, fill it with um, five cups of water. Okay, um, you can put um, pink champagne in that bath, pour some honey in, um, put the heads of five yellow roses. You could also do pink, okay? And ju you're taking the rose petals off of the five heads and you're putting that in the bath. You could put five perfumes or five scented body oils in that bath, okay? Um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna Light your yellow candle or your pink candle. Uh, for some of you who are Haitian, are from the New Orleans area, the Southern area, if you know about Ezeli, Ezeli Frida, they want you to, Spirit wants you to tap into her energy, okay? Because she's, she is the feminine aspect of God that deals with love and relationships and sensuality, okay? But anyway, you're stirring with the left hand, you're closing your eyes, you're really getting in your zone, you're praying for love, romance, passion, desire, intimacy, you're describing your ideal mate, you know, you're describing all the beautiful things that you want to do with this person, you're describing how you want to feel, and always talk about the things you want. Do not mention things you don't want in this battle. Okay. Okay. So once you're finished and you really put your heart into it and you pray, boom, 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 you wash in the shower, soap and water, rinse off, you dump this over your head. Okay. 
you air dry, you dress in white, you sleep in white, you do this for five days. Do not leave the candle unattended, lit, especially with these dark energies that are moving, okay? You can light the candle each day, but then make sure you uh, turn it off, you extinguish it. Let me know what happens. You may see that there is going to be an increased um, amount of attention towards you, okay? So prepare yourselves for it. But the prayers, remember, always activate the bath, all right? Um, okay, we have a couple of minutes. So let me go into the Marchetti deck real quick. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Let me just stop there. All right, guys. My head is tingling right now. I'm going to leave it at that. Please do the work. Please do the work. Please. If you have any questions, you can email me. Okay? I want to help you do this. If you feel like any of these energies have been playing itself out in your life, you can book a private reading with me at Ayaba's Wind, W-Y-N-D-999 at gmail.com. Okay. The devil card came out. So guys, this is confirmation. I'm not even going to go there with this. I'm going to politely put him back. And we're going to shut that energy down. <laughs> okay? I already told you what to do. All right? Shut that shit down. Let me pull from the Sibylla deck really quick. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know. I could be opening up Pandora's box with this. Okay. Okay, we're going to leave it like that. All right. Okay. I was holding my breath on that, please. <laughs> All right. So, um, the first set of cards that came out uh, is you got faithfulness, but that came reverse. So, yeah, someone's not being faithful. <laughs> we, we clearly know that there was a, a, a situation, a love triangle. We're going to sweep that out the way because we already know what we're going to do. Um, you got the card waiting. There's a woman waiting, okay? Um, but this came to the side. So this wait could be um, extended a little longer because of this work that is being done, okay? Um, you got service. The service card came to the side. So, you know, when I get this card, this is service. This is spirit servicing you you know, providing a service to you, um, like they want to help you, but you have to tap into their energy. They will meet you, but you got to reach out to them and tap into their energy. That's why that card came to the side. All your cards came to the side. This is crazy. <laughs> the cards never felt like this. They never felt like this. In all of the, the readings that I've done on my channel, I have never seen this kind of spread before. Just saying. Sweetheart card came to the side. So there's trouble in paradise. Things ain't going right. We that that was clear. That's already established. Um the merchant card came to the side. So someone's business, someone's work, money, finances, that's not flowing either. Something's a little funny with the money. Okay. Um Yeah, I'm hearing something about a side hustle. Maybe the side hustle's not doing well or you're going to have to pick up another thing to do to supplement the money. Um, you got frivolity. You know, being frivolous is kind of like being uh, frivolous. I think it's like being careless, okay? Um, <clears throat> but Spirit is saying now is not the time to do that. Now you got to be meticulous. You got to be on point and regimented. You are strategizing. 
the whole saying about the soldier never sleeps in war. If the soldier sleeps in war, he dies. He gets shot, killed, done. Okay, so spirit is like, you cannot sleep during this war. You better be sleeping with one eye open, okay? And having all plans in place, you know, abstain from alcohol and drugs and all that kind of stuff, or try and cut it down significantly. Because all of that, you're trying to raise your vibration, build up your force field so this nonsense doesn't hit you, okay? And then finally, you got malady. Um which came to the side. So, you know, you did get, it's time to visit a doctor. Um, so spirit is, is spirit is saying, you know, um, they're trying to prevent, you know, things from happening to, 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 from, they're pro trying to prevent things from going to the next level. I'm trying to be very, um, uh, careful with my words. Okay. Um, also, this could mean that possibly there is a male, an older male that's um, not doing well. So just keep your eyes open for that. Let me um, uh, let me pull from this deck. I don't know what the name of this deck is. <sighs> Imagination clouds your judgment. So yeah, so you know, spirit wants you to snap out of it. Ooh, okay. Jealousy leads to downfall, Medusa. So yeah, there is a woman who has done this work, okay? This, who has thrown this spiritual work, um, this negative spiritual work, yes. So, you know, now is being revealed, you know, um, she did not want to be revealed. She did not want to be discovered, okay? But Spirit is exposing her, okay? Spirit's exposing her. They're, you know, your your um, oracle cards in the beginning have been the shortest of all the readings that I've done because Spirit wanted me to explore this more with you to find out what's going on. So they're, they're the ones that the Spirit is guiding this reading because I don't usually do, I've kind of cut this segment out of the readings in the last like two months. Um, but they clearly wanted you to have additional information. Okay, let me leave that alone. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so we're going to pull from your guardian angel, archangel. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're going to stop there. All right, so you got one card that came upside down, counselor. Okay, Archangel Azriel, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. But this card came reverse. You know, Spirit is saying that now is not the time to be giving all of yourself to people. That you have to be um, conservative with extending yourself to people, okay? Um, because people will take, take, take and not be considerate of what you're going through. You know, your spiritual energy, is spirit is saying you gotta protect your spiritual energy. You gotta protect your aura right now. Um, and so therefore, you know, you may wanna go into like kind of the four swords mode. Um, then, the hermit mode state, hangman state. No, I don't want to say hangman. No. Hangman is meaning in contemplation. You don't need contemplation. You need to go into your quiet mode, hermit mode, okay? And start strategizing and making the moves you need to, to make, all right? So spirit is saying, you may be, you know, used to helping people, but do not extend yourself. Do not overextend yourself. You have to protect your energy now. All right, because it, you know, if people um, drain you of your time, your energy and resources, you're gonna be vulnerable to be taken out by this energy, okay? Um, you know, that, and that goes for like not taking phone calls. Uh, if you know someone's gonna be complaining about, you know, their ex or whatever, the divorce or whatever, don't answer the phone. That's it. <laughs> They'll live. They'll call another person guys, uh, and then Healthy Lifestyle, uh, Archangel Raphael, 
um, what's to say? Eat a healthy diet, get adequate sleep and exercise, okay, for optimal health. Okay, so spirit is saying, yeah, there's something with the health, um, you know, could be something with your cardiovascular health, maybe, you know, maybe you need to, you know, do more running, cardio exercises, workouts and things of that nature. But this reading has been so <laughs> in depth. Wow, guys, mm, this is deep. I think this has been the deepest reading I've done in a minute. All right. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please like this video. Definitely share it and please subscribe. I would love to have you a part of the Ayabas Wind family. I would love to have you. Okay. I'm here to support you every step of the way. I will see you next month, December, 2020. Um, I have a great um, holiday Thanksgiving, um, week and, um, yeah, have a great evening. Ciao.